Hello, got a fancy new 3D printer and itching to get printing? Or maybe you want to switch over to Orca Slicer after hearing about all its great features it has. Well, let me show you how to get started. To start, navigate to Orca Slicer by using your favorite search tool or clicking the link below. Once on the correct page, scroll down through all the text and folders it's gibberish to most users and into the README portion. Wow. Then scroll down a little more until you get to the download section. Then click here. Then scroll down even more and click on the installer fit for your machine. For me, I'm using Windows, so I will install the Orca Slicer Windows installer version 2.2.0 exe. Now that the application has been downloaded, run the application to begin the installation process. I will go through the steps for Windows, but if you are using Linux or Mac, the process should be pretty similar. First, click Next. You can read through this, but just click I agree. Select where you want to install Orca Slicer, click Next, and then click Install. Now we wait. Then click Finish. With Orcas installed successfully, it's time to launch the program. Click on Get Started. Select your local region. A window will pop up with a large list of supported printers. Simply use the search option or scroll through the list to select your printer and check the profiles you want to add. If you don't see your printer, you can use the Custom Printer option to get started. If you are unsure what nozzle to select, go with the 0.4 nozzle size, as that is the standard most printers will ship with. You can always add or remove nozzle sizes later if you selected the wrong one. I have an Ender 3 Pro, so I will select the 0.4 nozzle for now. Next, select the filament you will be using with your printer. I currently only work with PLA and PETG, so those are the ones I will select. Then click Next. This only really matters for bamboo printers, so if you're not using a bamboo printer, check this box. If you're using a bamboo printer, leave it unchecked unless you specifically do not wish to use their cloud services. Then click Next. Proprietary Plugins Currently, this only matters for bamboo printers. If you're using a bamboo printer, check the box for Bamboo Network Plugin. Otherwise, leave it unchecked. Then click Finish. And with that, we are done and we can begin slicing models. Congratulations! You have now installed Orca Slicer and configured it for your printer. Thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I have a few other Orca tutorial videos if you are interested, with more on the way. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or suggestions for video ideas. 